Hello, beautiful souls. I am Michelle McCoy with Autumn Flow. And isn't the sound of this falling water just beautiful? It just makes my soul so happy. And I'm out hiking today, exploring, shooting videos for Autumn Flow. Some of my very favorite things in the whole world. And this is my first time to this particular waterfall. It's Fern Falls near Jasper, Arkansas. And it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So many amazing waterfalls in this area. And it's just very refreshing and everything's starting to bloom here in early spring. And I'm just like totally in my element. But I'm really excited to share this combo with you that I have been incorporating into my flow lately and playing with different variations of it. And I've had some people request a tutorial. So here you are. As always, I will show it to you first and then we will break it down. So here it is. Okay, so first of all, I am using my 28 inch 5 8 UV pink Stardust glitter suctional hoop. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but this has been one of my favorite hoops lately. The Stardust collection is so gorgeous. We have it all available at autumnflow.com, but I really just love how it um, shimmers in the sunlight. And of course, the sun is behind a cloud right now, so you can't really tell. Um, but yeah, I love this hoop. Definitely just use a hoop that is small and light that you're used to flowing with. And prerequisites is uh, just basic ISOs, isolations, barrel roll, ISO pop, and just, you know, the concept of ISOs because this combo is all about ISOs. So now let's break it down. We're gonna start with the barrel roll. So you wanna grab your hoop across its diameter with palms facing out, thumbs facing down, keeping a fairly loose grip. I'm gonna begin by spinning to the right going into my barrel roll. I am left hand dominant and my first current is to the right. So if you're right hand dominant and your natural current is to the left, you might want to reverse this. So going into my barrel roll, keeping the hoop on a nice vertical plane. When I get back to my forward position, I want to release the hoop with my left hand to go into the behind the back barrel roll. So if you are spinning to the left instead of the right during your barrel roll, you'll want to release the hoop with your right hand. So if you're spinning to the right, you release with your left. If you're spinning to the left, you release with your right. So back to my natural current, barrel roll, spinning to the right, back to my forward position, releasing the hoop with my left hand, as I change my directions. So now I'm gonna spin to the left and away from the hoop, keeping my elbow bent helps to keep the hoop high and kind of like not um, com coming down too low because you kind of want to like maintain this nice pretty illusion effect of the hoop staying in its same place. So when you release the hoop with your left hand or right hand if you're spinning to the left, you're going to immediately begin turning in the opposite direction. So for me, that's to the left. And do a quick grip switch so that your palm goes from the inside of the hoop to the outside of the hoop when you are turned away from it. So from the inside to the outside. And then grabbing the outside of the hoop with your left hand, the one that you released. Keeping your elbows bent, hoop close to your body in a nice vertical plane. So this is a behind the back barrel roll. So when you get back forward again, keep the hoop's momentum going, your hands in the same position and cross your arms. So if you notice there, I had to do another grip switch with my left hand. So I am pushing the hoop to my left the same direction that it was just going, keeping my right hand in place. And my left hand is moving from the outside of the hoop to the inside of the hoop 
as my arms cross over. So now I'm in this awkward position with my right arm crossed over my left. So from here, I'm going to fold the hoop out to one side, straightening my right arm, fold it back in, fold it out to the other side. So when you're in this position, whichever arm is on top is the side of your body you wanna pop it to first. So since my right arm is on top, I'm popping it to the right first, and then back to center, and then to the left. So from here, my left thumb is up, my right thumb is down. I'm gonna go into this fun little like ISO rolling move, hands staying in the same position, but I'm gonna do a couple other grip changes to go into the double arm crisscross. So probably one of the hardest concepts of this combo is just the grip switches. That's basically all there is to this spinning ISO combo. So when we are in this position and you're popped out to your second side, for me, my left, center, right, center, left, you're gonna roll it up and out and then you kind of get stuck so with your top hand do a quick switch over just like you would do like during an isolation from one side to the other side of the inside of the hoop and then roll it down and then you get stuck again so you do the same thing with your other hand just roll it over the top of the hand and re-grip so now from here you're going to push the hoop down and you kind of want to like let your uh, for me my left hand kind of glide in closer to my right so that I get into this position now my left arm is crossed over my right arm and then we are in our double arm crisscross so a really quick review on this move when you get down to here both elbows are bent your arms are making an X straighten your right arm or whichever arm the hoop is on. So if the hoop is on your right side, straighten your right arm and then bend at the elbow as you pull it back behind you. Now you have an X above your head, straightening my left arm now, pushing it forward down and you kind of like rotate your torso back and forth to allow the hoop to stay on a nice vertical plane and you wanna keep your grip very, very loose here. When you get above your head, I'm gonna release the hoop with my right hand. So now the hoop is in my dominant hand above my head and I'm gonna go right into an ISO pop. But instead of doing a basic ISO pop and bringing it back down, I'm going to pop it out and then release it so that it rolls onto the top of my thumb. So it's kind of like pop, let go, roll, and then the hoop starts to come back to me. When the hoop starts to come back to me, I'm gonna bring my other arm, palm facing up, out to the bottom to catch it, to go into a continuous K roll. The continuous K roll is broken down in my online courses, which I can't remember if I mentioned them or not, but. I break down all of these individual moves in my online hoop dance courses, which are available at autumnflow.com if you need help mastering those first. And the K roll, the continuous K roll is in there, but another quick review on that. <laughs> this tutorial is going to be really long. Okay, so you grab it with your palm facing up. You want it, the hoop to go in between your second and your third finger on the bottom hand. And then you kind of like do like a half, a half isolation as you simultaneously bring your left hand to the bottom of the hoop, palm facing up, hoop going in between your second and third finger, half isolation. And then from there, it just takes practice to keep the hoop on a consistent, smooth vertical plane. And the hoop is literally popping off of the middle of my chest. You can see that. I kind of lean back a little bit and I keep my gaze on the top of the hoop. So that is just a really quick <laughs> review of the continuous payroll. And that was a whole lot of explanation. So don't get overwhelmed. It's really not that complicated once you understand the grip changes. <laughs> 
So let's just put it all together now. Less talking, more flowing. I'm going to transition into this combo from vertical hooping, which I think just gives it a really pretty effect. Keeping the hoop in a vertical plane, the whole combo from on body hooping to off body hooping. So I'm going to try to find a semi flat surface here because that is always super important for vertical hooping. So again, my current is going to be to the right going into vertical hooping. When I come forward into earth facing position, I'm going to grab the hoop with my dominant hand and then my second hand. So left hand first, then my right hand, palms facing out and keep the hoop's momentum going in the same direction to go into our barrel roll. Release with my left hand, change positions, elbows bent behind the back barrel roll, back to forward, grip switch, crossing my right arm, my right arm <laughs> over my left, pop it to the right, center, left, Rolling it, grip change, grip change into our X below us. Double arm crisscross. Release with my right hand. Iso pop, continuous K roll. Okay, so now all together, no talking at all. <laughs> Starting with vertical hooping. So um, I'm going to show this to you in slow motion and from a couple different angles. And that is the spinning ISO combo. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and have a lot of fun with this sequence and incorporating it into your flow. As always, I encourage you to spice it up and put your own spin on it. Switch up the order of the tricks in the combo. Try to add some in between. Find different ways to transition in and out of it and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and happy hooping.